Good evening and welcome to class, government class with Enigma. So first off, we'll take a basic fact in government. The first political party was formed in 1923, Nigerian National Democratic Party. NNDP was formed in 1923. The National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroon, NCNC, was formed in 1944. NCSC was formed in 1944. Action Group was formed in 1955. Action Group formed in 1955. Kano Riot, 1953. The Census Crisis, 1962-1963. Action Group Crisis 1962, the General Election Crisis 1964, the West Regional Election 1965. Now, NCNC was formed in 1944. It has the President has Herbert Macaulay, and the first General Secretary was Dr. Namdi Akzikwe. However, in August 1944, Cameroon left Nigeria and the name was changed to National Council for Nigerian Citizens. That's just a brief about NCNC. Now the Action Group Crisis, the Action Group, I beg your pardon, was formed in 1950-1951. Now many would say that the Action Group metamorphosized from Egbe Omodudua. Now Egbe Omodudua was formed in 1945 by Shifa Bafemi in London. Now, Let's quickly talk about Action Group a bit. Action Group, uh, its leader was Obafemi Awolowo. That party dominated the Western region and the political scene for 11 years, between 1951 and 1962. Now, other leaders in the party structure include S.L. Akintola, Bode Thomas, Chief Shonibari, and it was declared a regional party. Now, NPC on its own, NPC was formed from a traditional group called Jamia. Mutanem Harewa. Now, meaning that another name for the NC, the NPC, the Northern People's Congress, was Jamia Mutanem Harewa. Now, the party dominated. Uh, the party was dominated by the Aousas and the Fulanis, and the and um, Islam was the main focus of the party. Now, the party dominated the northern region between 1951 and 1965, just like that of action group but action group was between 1951 to 1962 now its leaders sir modbelo and sir bakata Fawa balewa has the deputy so the party was the first to produce the prime minister of nigeria now when the party when they were issues in the party the northern element progressive union broke off from the party and that that new union was led by malam aminu kano so i've talked about I'll brief you about NCNC, AG, then NPC. Don't forget I said that the first political party that was formed was formed in 1923, NNDP. NCNC was formed in 1944, Action Group, 1950s, like 1951. Can Riot, 1953, Census Crisis, 1962, slash 1963. Action Group Crisis, 1962, General Election Crisis, 1964. The West Regional Election, 1965. Let's listen to this first. Okay, still on the basic facts in government two with Enigma. The oldest constitution in the world is the American Constitution. The oldest constitution in the world is the American Constitution. The first law graduate in Nigeria is Sapara Williams. The first law graduate in Nigeria is Sapara Williams. Berlin Conference was between 1884 to 1885. Aba Women Riot started in 19. 19- 29. Worry Tax Crisis, 1927. Richard Constitution, 1946. Now, the first military coup, the first military coup in West Africa happened in Togo, 1963. The first in Africa happened in Egypt, 1952. And the first military coup in Nigeria happened in January 15, 1966. The second military coup was six months after, that's July 29, 1966. Now, after the military coup, a whole lot of things happened in Nigeria, which we will discuss as we 
proceed. In February 13, 1976, General Munitala Mohammed was killed. January in February 17, February 13, I beg your pardon, February 13, 1976, General Muritala Mohammed was killed. Now, why do you need to understand this basic fact? This basic fact will help you to answer questions on dates, questions on names. And your knowledge of these basic facts will help you under the pre-colonial whatever and having knowledge of the historical facts about things in Nigeria. Don't forget the Berlin Conference 1884, Richard Constitution 1946, the first law graduate, Sakara Williams, the first military coup in Africa, Egypt 1952, the first in West Africa, Togo 1963, the first in Nigeria 1966, the one that had Rossi um, as the head of state. Now, the Nigerian Civil War, which some of you call the Biafra War, lasted for 130 weeks and four days. That is between 1967 to 1970. So the Nigerian Civil War, Biafra War, between 1967 to 1970. Now, before the Biafra War, the independence of Biafra was declared in the ending of May in 1967, around May 30 to May 31st, the independence was, the independence of Biafra was declared by Chuke Mekaldimegu and because of the mass killings of Igbos in the north and a lot of things, the crisis uh, erupted. So your knowledge of these basic and simple facts will help you in you know, answering questions with finesse and characteristic aplomb. Now let me quickly say this, under the political administration before the pre-colonial era before the pre-colonial okay let me quickly let me take the pre-colonial era in another audio and i'll take that extremely fast all right so I'll come back to government with enigma so i'm going to run through the uh certain things then i'll talk about the pre-colonial system in Igbo land and the yoruba land so if you have questions you drop for me after listening so first off I said the Berlin Conference was in 1984 to 1985. The Berlin Conference was a was a partitioning of African states to colonial masters. Now Clifford Clifford Constitution provided for legislative council, which composed of 46 members, 27 official, 19 unofficial. Clifford Constitution consists for con, provided for new legislative council which composed of 46 members and 27 official, 19 unofficial. Then we have three members elected adult males in Lagos with a residential qualification of 12 months and a gross increase of 100 euro per annum. What I actually wanted to get from the Clifford Constitution is that the, the Clifford Constitution of 1922 introduced the elective principle. The Clifford Constitution introduced the elective principle and it had 46, it was composed of 46 members in the Legislative Council, 27 official, 19 unofficial. Now, the Richard Constitution. The Richard Constitution introduced the regional um, principle. Now, it introduced the regional council. It allowed the majority of unofficial members to be in the Legislative Council. It also established the single Legislative Council for the whole Nigeria. So, the principles of regionalism is known to the Richard Constitution. Clifford Constitution introduced the elective principle in 1922. Richard Constitution introduced regionalism in 1946. The colonial system in Igbo land and Yoruba land. There is this argument between the imperialist and the historian that before the coming of the colonial masters, that Nigeria never had a political administration of his own, of our, of our own, if you like. And so this agreement led to different skirmishes between the historian and the imperialist. 
Now, the imperialists believe that the Nigerian state never had its own political structure and lacked a structured political administration. In other words, to now prove the imperialist wrong, the historian now had to remind them that before their coming, Nigeria had a political administration. So I'll quickly look at the colonial system in Yoruba land, summarizing it basically for you. Now, in the Yoruba pre-colonial system, we have the Oba, who is the political head assisted by the Aremo. The Aremo is like the first son of the king or the oldest son of the king, the first and the oldest. The Oba, the Oyomisi. Now, the Oyomisi is a council of seven kingmakers headed by the Basharun. The, the Oyomisi is a council of seven kingmakers headed by the Oyom, by the Basharun. Now, the Oyomisi is, is stronger than the Alafu because we call them kingmakers. The one Yoruba people call Afobaje. Now, the Oyomisi is stronger than the Alafu and can overrule any decision which is not acceptable to it. So we have the, the Oba, we have the Oyomisi, we have the Ilari. The Ilari are permanent advisors to the king, to the Alafu. Basharun is the chief minister and the prime minister, while the Bale is the village head. Then the Ari on Okakanfo is the chief of the army. We've had different series of Ari on Okakanfo in the history of the Yoruba land. We've had um, Afonja, Afonja, a lot of there's a lot of stories around Afonja. We'll see that another day. Now there are certain limitations to the power of the Alafin. One is if the Alafin disagrees with the Yomisi and the Ilaris, the only option is to commit suicide. That is, the Alafin is asked to commit suicide by opening the calabash. Now, the loyal army commander could revolt. So the army commander is always subjected, so it's is bound to be loyal then the Oyomisi could authorize the Basharun to send to the Alaf in empty calabash that empty calabash is symbolizing rejection so you notice that this political administration you can say that it is based on the principle of what we call separation of power and checks and balance we also have the 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 Oboni the Ogbon is more like a secret court, headed by the Oluwu. So I've mentioned the Oba, the Yomisi, Council of Seven Chiefs, don't forget, the Laris, Basharun, Prime Minister, Bale, the village, the Ayodan Kakan, for chief of, chief of the army, or head of the army. Then let's quickly come down to the pre-colonial administration in Igbo land. Now the Igbos, on the other hand, um, had a, they are Republican in nature. They maintain what we call a decentralized and acephalous society. That is, power is being divided between the units. And so they had the executive, the legislature, and power were vested, and judicial power was vested. They had um, the executive, the legislature, and then judicial powers were vested in the Ohaneze. That is the Council of the Ohaneze, the Council of Elders. Then the four title holders, the the family, the also title holders, the age grade, the Umada, and the Allah, or the Earth Goddess, represented by a chief priest. So I may not get the pronunciation, but that is just the basic division. So let me quickly talk about what they do and how the administration worked. The Council of Elders. The Council of Elders is made up of the, el the oldest in each family. The oldest in each family comes together to make decisions and they are headed by the Okpara. We have the age grid. The duty of the age grid is to they, they act as police, they maintain law and order, they defend the community, they are the ones who do construction of roads and markets, and they have to implement the policies made by the Council of Elders. Then we have the also tied to others. I don't know if I get the pronunciation well. Then now those ones are wealthy, influential uh, people or men in the community. They preside over the issues that are affecting the community with the elders. 
So the Council of Elders is practically the head. So there are other title holders work with the Council of Elders, and there are four title holders. Now each family was headed by the four title holders. All of them put together will form a Council of Elders. All of those are four title holders or four title holders come together and they will constitute the Council of Elders. The ally is the goddess and that goddess plays the judicial function. You know, in the evil land we have different gods, we have Amadioa and the likes. Now, disputes were also settled by the Council of Elders. So that's just a brief uh, explanation about the pre-colonial administration in the Yoruba land and Igbo land. All right, so come back to government with Enigma. So I'm going to run through the uh, certain things, then I'll talk about the pre-colonial system in Igbo land and the Yoruba land. So if you have questions, you drop for me after listening. So first off, I said the Berlin Conference was in 1884-1885. The Berlin Conference was a was a partitioning of African states to colonial masters. Now Clifford Clifford Constitution provided for legislative council, which composed of 46 members, 27 official, 19 unofficial. Clifford Constitution consists for con, provided for new legislative council. Which composed of 46 members and 27 official, 19 unofficial. Then we have three members elected adult males in Lagos with a residential qualification of 12 months and a gross increase of 100 euro per annum. What I actually wanted to get from the Clifford Constitution is that the, the Clifford Constitution of 1972 introduced the elective principle. The Clifford Constitution introduced the elective principle and it had 46. It was composed of 46 members in the Legislative Council, 27 official, 19 unofficial. Now, the Richard Constitution. The Richard Constitution introduced the regional um, principle. Now, it introduced the regional council. It allowed the majority of unofficial members to be in the Legislative Council. It also established the single Legislative Council for the whole Nigeria. So, the principles of regionalism is known to the Richard Constitution. Clifford Constitution introduced elective principle in 1922. Richard Constitution introduced regionalism in 1946. 